Hi everyone, thank you so much for having me to your school. It's really exciting to be here. My name is Claire and I am a farmer from Birchip in Northwestern Victoria. Um, we farm sheep and grains mostly, and you can see one of my very special sheep here. Her name is Nigella. So the grains, this is a few photos of the grains part of our farm. Up in the top right hand corner, we have a wheat crop that's being harvested and down the bottom, we have a wheat crop that's being sprayed. And on the left is a beautiful crop of canola that's just flowering. But that's not really why I'm here to talk to you today. I'm here to talk to you about my sheep. So on my farm, we have two different types of sheep. We have um, a D Damara Dorpa mix and terminal lambs that are a mix of Border Leicester, White Suffolk and I think, yeah, Border Leicester, White Suffolk and Dorsets. Um, these are the Dormara Dorpers and they're a very special type of sheep. They're bred specifically for meat and they don't have wool, they have hair. And you can see over here on this one's back and then also a little bit here and a bit over here too, that when it's at the right time of year, the hair kind of clumps together and falls off. And that's the, one of the main differences between these type of sheep and our other sheep. Um, so here, is, so I also on my hat farm have four, five very special lambs. In fact, we've just gotten a six this week, but I don't have any pictures of her in here yet. Um, so my other type of lambs are the crossbred terminal lambs. And you can see three of them here and then Yotam, who's a Damara Dorpa. So one of the main differences between them is the wool. You can see their wool here. Um, but when we got the lamb, we got these lambs because their mothers weren't around anymore and they needed someone to take care of them. So we got them when they were very, very little and we had to feed them with a bottle. Um, you can see down the bottom here that lambs have a very ingrained sucking instinct and they, all they want to do is suck on anything they can. And you can see little Yotam sucking on my finger. Um, out in the paddock though, they because they're so little, they can be quite at risk to pests like foxes and eagles. So we have alpacas like this one you can see here to protect them. Um, and sometimes, so they, what they can do is spit at things that are attacking the lambs. And then they also pour at them and chase them. So they keep all the predators away and keep the tiny little lambs safe. Um, as our sheep grew up, we started to feed them different things. We went from three bottles a day to two bottles a day to one bottle a day. Um, and now our lambs eat so many different things. Up in the paddock, we feed them bales of hay, or if there's green feed in the paddock, they eat that. And sometimes we give them peas and legumes. But our sheep, my special lambs, um, are very spoiled. They get olive branches, as you can see here. They get leaves from fruit trees. They get grains like wheat and barley. They get bales of hay. And there's something else special. Oh, and then my dad treated them to sewing a paddock to vetch in the front paddock so they can eat that as they grow as well. So they're very, very lucky and very, very spoiled. Um, one of the important things to do with the um, crossbred lambs is you have to shear them because their wool gets too thick and heavy in summertime and grass seeds stick to them. So you can see the photos of my dad shearing the sheep here and once they've been shorn they look quite funny like they don't have clothes on or something. They're just a bit skinny um, and not quite right compared to normal. Um, but it's an important that we do it. Another interesting thing about sheep is their teeth. So sheep are born with no teeth at all and they quickly in the first week develop milk teeth, eight of them around the bottom of their mouth. Um, and then as they age, different teeth start to come in. So after about 12 to 18 months, their middle two baby teeth fall out and they get two adult teeth and then they become two tooth. Um, and then they slowly move their way out until they've got four adult teeth at about 36 months of age. And so that's a good way to tell how old a sheep is. Um, this is Yotam here. You can see his funny little teeth just there. Um, and Nigella, I think she still has all of her baby teeth too. They're only, they're not quite a year old yet. 
So there's her teeth will start to fall out very soon and be replaced by her adult teeth. And this is just a photo of Hetty's snout. And I just wanted to show you how much hair they have and how dirty they get because for them to figure out what they need to eat, they sniff and sniff and sniff and sniff and use the little fibrous parts of their hair to figure out what's good and what's not. Um, so if you go and sit in the paddock with them, they'll come up to you and just sniff all over you. That's a, not a necessarily a fun feeling, but it's quite cute. <laughs> um, so here's, I'm just going to show you a quick video of my lambs out in the paddock. I took this quite a while ago. I think it was in about March or April. So it's looking very dry and we've since had a lot of rain. And so this paddock out the back here is now completely green. There's green grass all through here. But at the moment, the only thing that's looking a little bit green is the salt bush, which is another thing they like to eat. So I'm just going to get some apricot leaves. So we've already picked the apricots and it was autumn, so the leaves are falling off. So nothing was happening to, happening to them. We might as well give them to the lammies because they love a special treat. That's one of our chooks. So you can see the sniffing, hear the sniffing. <laughs> um, this little lamb down in the corner is na her name is Donna, and when she was born, she had an infection, and unfortunately, it stunted her development a little bit. So she's not quite as big as the others. Um, but we gave her some medication and she's gotten much better, but she still hasn't grown as well. Just trying to get, get over the fence without ripping my pants. Another very important thing for sheep to have is water. They need to have water every single day and have fresh and clean water available. You can hear her sniffing. You're like, have you got something for me to eat? Can I pull your hair? She's going to have a bit of a scratch. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you so much for having me present to you. It's been really fun to come and see you all. Um, have fun learning about farm animals. I love being a farmer. I love being out on my farm every day, big open blue skies, working with animals and out in nature. I couldn't think of anything else I would rather do. It's so rewarding. Um, thanks. Bye.